Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we're asked to solve this quadratic equation. Now, because there's no indication about accuracy of solutions to one decimal place or whatever, we can be pretty sure that it's a factorisation method that we're going to use. So let's have a look at x squared minus 11x plus 24 equals 0. And our aim is to factorise this quadratic expression because something times something gives you zero. One or other of these two factors must be equal to zero. This one must be zero or this one must be zero. So that's the method we're going to use. Now, before this, uh, factorizing quadratics is one of the topics where there's a, a host of methods that you may well have been taught. So you may not be familiar with the way I'm going to do this. Um, what I would like to do, first of all, is just to concentrate on, for instance, uh, multiplying out something like x minus 3 times x plus 4 and use the FOIL method to multiply out. And then we'll use that method backwards to factorise this. So worth focusing on this. First, x times x, x squared, outsides, x times 4, insides, negative 3 times x, lasts, the negative 3, times the positive 4, negative 12. So you'll notice that the inside and outside terms combine to give you the middle term of that quadratic expression, 4x minus 3x. That comes from here and here. So looking at the 12, 3 times 4, looking at this 1, 4 minus 3 or negative 3 plus 4, adding or subtracting these two numbers gives you the middle term, multiplying them gives you the last term. That's what's going on here. So putting down x squared minus 11x plus 24, two brackets, we're looking for number times a number giving us 24. We might be wrong. Let's try 4 times 6. Now, we're not bothering about positives and negatives. But the outside 2 give us 6x. The inside 2 give us 4x. And we're saying to ourselves, is there any way of adding, subtracting 6x, 4x to give us minus 11x? Well, no, it doesn't work. Add them, you get 10x, negative x, 6x, negative 4x, give you negative 10x. There's no way of combining these two to give us a, an 11x or a negative 11x. So basically, 4 and 6, they're not going to work. Let's try two different factors for 24. Let's, times, let's try 3 times 8. Let's look at the outside 2. That's 8x. Now, we're not bothering about pluses and negatives just now, but just multiplying these 8x, assuming they're all positive, uh, and the inside 2, 3 times x is 3x. Now, we say to ourselves, OK, let's add or subtract. We're trying to get a minus 11x. And, gosh, yes, this is going to work. To get a minus 11x, we would take away the 8x and then take away another 3x. So this is going to succeed if the 8 has a negative attached to it and the 3 has a negative attached to it. Now, at this stage, absolutely essential that you use FOIL to multiply out these brackets to see if you're right. So the first two terms in each bracket, x times x gives us x squared. The outside two, x times negative 8, gives us negative 8x. Negative 3 times x gives us negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 8 does give us positive 24. So there's your x squared minus 11x plus 24. Just by multiplying out, we can see that that works. So the first factor, x minus 3. The second factor, x minus 8. And if these two factors multiply to give us 0, then either the first factor is 0 or the second factor is 0. If the first factor was 0, then x would be 3. If the second factor was 0, x would be 8. 
So there's our solution. X is 3 or X equals 8. Now at this stage, if you had time in the exam, there's another way you can double check that this is all right. And that's by putting 3 into this e expression and seeing if it works out to be 0. 3 squared is 9 minus 33 plus 24. If you take the time to work that out, you'll find it's 0. Or putting 8 in. 8 times 8, 64, minus 88, plus 24, does give us 0. But uh, that's just if you have time to double check these things. So there we go, x equals 3, x equals 8, that's the solution. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out, and thanks for watching this video. Thank you.